in the wake of um, happenings, there are things which um, are uh, aligned with your highest purpose. To know how you are geared up towards the higher substantial goal of your life, you need to attune yourself and orient yourself to the best possibility which life at times throws at you in a different way. Maybe the way would not be very pleasant, would not be really something that you may appreciate on the very face of it, but in reality there exists a transformative tool for you. And that requires shattering of illusions in your life, shattering of the patterns that we have followed till now, shattering of the delusional identity that we have carried along till now. So in this um, time when we are bombarded with information, there is a unique essence of being that needs to be integrated and that unique a sense of being is you, is actually you. You need to integrate yourself, to poise, to make yourself ready, receptive towards higher goal in your life, towards higher achievement that you are designed for. This is where the essence of yoga comes into play. Yoga has got one segment of it, which is to do with physical exercises, physical well-being. But to attune your body and mind together is one aspect that few of us talk about. Yoga is about integrating ourselves at a point that is most conducive to the higher vibration through which occurs transformation. Everything changes in you because you are the change that you seek in the world. Going out world Pursuing things would not manifest the desired result. But once you go inside you, within you, once you become receptive to energies around you in a way that comes after many layers of filtration, then you know exactly where you are headed towards, what to negate, what to set aside, and what matter to take in the most prominent manner. So the yoga is not and it cannot be only restricted within the boundary of um, physical exercises. It is something much more beyond than anyone could ever imagine. It is about integrating the most subtlest atom of our body, which is not visible to our eyes, with the essence that pervades into this uh, cosmos. It is as subtle as that. But to reach to that level, we need to attune our body. We need to uh, make our body more receptive to the energies that are most conducive towards our highest goal and highest growth as well. The prana is something which can actually transform the entire course of your life. The prana is something if it is regulated in synchronicity with the high vibration which you are always in communication with, a lot could change about your life. This is how important it is to become and make each cell of your body in such a way that is in communication with the energies that permeate into this universe. Yeah, it may sound a bit um, uh, off the track, but honestly speaking, it is something that um, all the greatest masters of the world used to ascend themselves into a high level of consciousness. The present moment becomes so intense that everything out here becomes very alive. All the memories of the past are filtered through to take you to a platform where you know what actually it was, the way it was, how it got transpired. So you are able to see through all those things that earlier made you very, very uncomfortable, but now you are able to see through it. And once you are able to see through what you have gone through, you grow out of it. So the very idea that um, um, 
becomes quite a spectacle when we talk about yoga is that it is something which has been done by many CEOs of Eastern world or um, people from a different background would be able to do it. It is not for us. But in fact, it is not just about having different postures. It is about something much more significant and deeper, which we all need to come to know about. This is the reality. So this is the entire effort of yoga today that uh, we are trying to make that people in the world today come to know the real essence of yoga which is transferring from the very corporeal from very ethereal towards more psychic and more psychic to the consciousness or if i could say from more corporeal to the zone of consciousness you become the version of the self that the whole universe wants to help you with you become the version of yourself that the entire universe trying to reveal it through you that is the power of yoga today that is the power of and the real essence of yoga today that is so powerful that no matter who is doing what no matter how uh, bad the world is or who is trying to do what even the world would not look back to you at all but you will be in converging mode with things and circumstances in such a way that whatever happens to you will happen for you with the best interest to you and for you this is the real essence of yoga you become so conscious towards everything that you will know that um, i am in sync with my own essence i'm in sync with my own self now i cannot be disintegrated by any happenings outside and that's the reason why so much of chaos has happened in the world because people have become uncontrollable in their emotion and these emotions are so intense so effusive in nature that people have very profound impact on their psyche they become lunatic they need to resort to asylum places you know they uh, resort to a number of uh, addictions just to soothe themselves but they are so wrong in their nature it can only lower your vibration down the only thing that can help you is to integrate yourself with your own essence that's you that's your being who you actually are and that is possible that is 100% possible how to do that that's a big question it happens with awakening of your uh, self the awakened masters in the world who have um, helped humanity raise their vibration and consciousness have helped them through only with one thing and that is follow the path of the ones who have met it that's right exactly so we will be learning a lot more from abhyas school of yoga so welcome to Abhyas School of Yoga. This School of Yoga, Abhyas School of Yoga, is geared for human transformation. Be receptive.